welcome back to our coverage of the Gamma Trade Show 2015. I'm Eric Summer here with Spencer from Cool Mini or Not, and we have a giant box in front of us that says Xeno Shift. <laughs> yes. Tell us about it. So Xeno Shift ran a Kickstarter for last year. Um, it is basically a little bit of a departure for us. It is a card-based game as opposed to a miniature-filled box, but it is similar to some of our other games like Zombicide, where there is a fully cooperative element, right? Where each player takes a part of a space base, if you will, uh, a mining corporation, and they are trying to defend the, the base from these waves of horrific, disgusting aliens, and you've got this cool, like, very gritty science fiction and science fiction monster art that we've, we mm -hmm. use as the aliens, and then you have these kind of cool trooper art, and you're, you're basically building uh, your hand, so there's a little bit of deck building in there, buying troops and putting them in your hand and then deploying them on your lane. And then you're, you're playing your, uh, your alien cards face down on the lane, and you just reveal them one at a time, so you get that tension of, okay, if I kill this guy, and uh, these guys die because the, the attack is very simple. It's just math. This guy does three damage. This guy has three health, so they cancel each other out. You know, okay. um, similar to a very popular iOS card game. Hmm. 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 I swear we thought of it first. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and so basically, it's just a very simple rule set that, to kind of clear out the way, so you move quickly through the lanes. And as these things are happening, some of the monsters have reveal effects, like he gets to attack first regardless. Like this guy flips over, the second he flips over, he automatically does his damage. Okay. And then he gets another attack, right? So that you don't, if your guy is weak, he doesn't even get a second to a chance to respond. The okay. first time he flips over, he attacks, yeah. then you automatically have to ship the cards down. So it's uh, it's 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 very uh, an interesting game because not only do you have that reveal mechanic that is kind of, you know, you know, it's maybe not possibly like necessary, but it makes the game a little tense. Gives you yeah. a little, you know, rules are there for a reason, right? And okay. uh, it basically is a, a kind of an edge of your seat uh, card game, which I don't think I don't think a lot of people think of like super tense. Are we going to make it? Or are we not going to make it? You know, uh, card when they think about card games, but also the fully cooperative manner of like, okay, I've got to run my lane, and while I'm trying to protect my part of the base, I can also do things like give your guys weapons okay. or throw a grenade into your lane and help blow up your aliens on your side. Sure. So I'm looking, and I have med packs I can put on your guys and stuff like that. And then each part of the base, you draw a base card. Each part of the base has a special ability. So the armory can buy weapons for cheaper, and then okay. there's also three waves of aliens. So as you go through the waves. They get harder, but also your base kind of levels up and you okay. can do cooler stuff, right? Neat. Yeah. So uh, this is out soon, out now? Uh, it is going to be soon. Uh, it was actually supposed to be earlier this year, but unfortunately with the port is issues yeah. and stuff like that, I bet you haven't heard that. Oh, all we've day. never heard that before, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, so we're sitting, I think we're looking at uh, April, May at the latest, sometime in April, May, May at the latest, hopefully uh, retail in May. So it should be two months away, and right. uh, people have seen it. Uh, I mean, uh, the Kickstarter page, Tom did a gameplay video for us and uh, and then commented on the game during the Kickstarter video and uh, <laughs> seemed to enjoy it. So we're, we're excited to give him a the final copy and see what he has to say about it. Excellent. Um, so yeah, it should be soon. Soon, okay. is, soon is the is the goal. Right? Soon is good. We like soon. Now hiding behind this giant box, yeah. you have something a little smaller. So this is a French game that came out in February of this year. So just recently it came out this year. and. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be called the Grizzled in English. Now okay. this is uh, we're gonna we are going to uh, translate it into English and publish it in basically North America, All right. in countries that we would normally publish into. And what the game is is again fully cooperative game for two to five players, and it is basically about uh, these friends during World War One, who are basically drafted into the French military and they have to survive this tor terrible trench warfare. But the the theme of the game is is. Can you can you keep it together? Can you and your your buddies stay friends during these like horrific acts, right? Okay. And uh, it's uh, basically kind of a survival game when all you're trying to do is uh, get to this final card in the deck that is a dove that says you know is a peace card. Basically. Peace card, yeah. Okay. So you want to get to the end, and so every time you flip over a card, there's an event, and you have to kind of work with your friends to get through the event, right? Um, the components inside are incredible. Their art is amazing. The it's a it's a small box game. It's gonna be one of our first. Actually, it's going to be uh, it's it's gonna be one of our first. We did a Guilds of Cadwallon a few years ago, mm. which was a small box game for about twenty five dollars. I think we're looking at twenty twenty five dollars for this. Depends okay. on how many print and you know what does the translation cost. You know all that kind of behind the scenes stuff that needs right. to happen. But uh, one of the things that is uh, amazing about this game and is one of the reasons why we want to put it out into mass market and get it out into there is um, it, not only is it a great game, but it, the art is all done by Tingno, who actually uh, passed away during the Charlie Hebdo attacks. Oh, wow. So it was one of the last things he did. And it's uh, very poignant that it's a game about peace in a time of 
struggle. Yeah. And, it, and it's, you know, we think that that's a very poignant thing that we want to spread his message that right. he, he did this uh, a very meaningful game. And, uh, and then what happened, happened. So uh, we think it's uh, important for people to see and try and, and think about, you know, I mean, really with the, the real world circumstances that happened, right. what the game is trying to say. And that's interesting. Yeah. So. Timeline on that again? Uh, this should be this year, um, okay. again with translation, but we, they we're going to keep it, because it is his art and his style, we're going to try to keep it as uh, when we translate the and redo the graphics, not the graphics, excuse me, but the, the font. Yeah. We're going to try to keep it all the same. Keep it as close the, as you can to the yeah. original. So um, that's going to take a little bit of time, and then you know translations, and then once you re you translate, you can't just throw it in the Google Docs, right? Or right. You know. the translate button, you've got to you've got to polish and make sure that it reads right. colloquially correct and stuff like that. Right. So sometime this year, um, and I'm not sure. Well, I think we're going to probably just go straight to retail with it, but I'm not positive that that's something we're you know we're known for Kickstarters. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case with a small box game. It's something okay. that we're still discussing, but more than likely, I would think we're probably just going to go to retail. Anything else on the more distant horizon that you uh, want to well, talk about? We always have, uh, not always, but you seems like always, we have a Zombicide coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Zombicide Season 3, uh, which we had boxes for, but we would literally build a wall if I yeah. put it here. So uh, Angry Neighbors and Room Org. Uh, Angry Neighbors is the expansion to room, Season 3 Room Org, but they, of course, like all the other Zombicides, they plug in, they plug in, and... Mm -hmm. um, so that's coming up, and uh, actually these two, Xenoshift and Angry and Zombicide, are going to be very close to one another because they both got stuck on the board. They're, they're both in the So now they're both coming at the same time. Okay. Um, and uh, we also have here a basically the, proto the rough prototype of uh, Blood Rage that we're showing people because Kickstarter just closed, was very successful, so people want to see the bits and pieces and take a look at what the plastics look like. And we have those pre-production plastics kind of close to what the final ones are going to be. Um, so... Those are those are out there. I would have brought up, but it literally would take up the whole table. We, we don't have a fancy <laughs> mock-up box yet for it either, so you would just be looking at a brown box with lots of plastics. So um, I'm sure that there's people who have taken pictures of that throughout the weekend. And, and I'm sure that, that future Dice Tower contributors will be coming to the booth and checking oh, that yeah, out. Of and, and maybe right now, as we speak, yeah. we'll have video of all of that. I, that, <laughs> that might be the you case. Know, <laughs> we'll, we'll just pass it off to the future guys. Spencer, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. And thank you for watching.